I've received a really interesting question from a 24-year-old woman who lives near London, England. And it has to do with a very, very rare kind of breast cancer called secretory breast cancer. Now, it is our policy here at Breast Cancer Answers not to answer specific treatment type questions. But I thought it would be important to share with this young woman, as well as all of you, uh, some information about this, probably one of the rarest forms of breast cancer there is. Secretory breast cancer was first described in 1966 by a report that outlined this type of cancer in children ranging in age from 3 to 15, with the average age at 9. The original term was juvenile breast cancer because, again, the author thought it was only affecting children. Subsequently, subsequently we've learned that it can affect adults in fact, the uh, report of the eldest patient that I've seen in the literature is age 87. Well, what can we say in general about secretory breast cancer? Well, I've done a review of the literature uh, in response to this question, and what I can say is sort of the following. One is now the average age is around 25 years where the cancer presents itself. It's typically slow growing, uh, typically thought to be a benign process like a fibroadenoma. Uh, and the diagnosis of it is pretty straightforward, either with a fine needle biopsy or a core biopsy because of the secretory material that's seen when the slides are made up and to look at this cancer under the microscope. Now, it's hard to generalize about this cancer because there are not enough reports in the literature. Most of the reports in the literature are what we call anecdotal or tiny little series of reports. So one of the bottom line messages about this rare form of breast cancer is that there is not, I repeat, there is not a consensus of opinion as to how this cancer should be treated. But in my review of the literature, I can share with you some general statements. One is, in children, radiation therapy should be avoided because of the other side effects of radiation therapy in such young people. A second generality about this cancer is that it tends to be a more benign cancer, if you will, uh, meaning that it tends to be less aggressive than other cancers. What's unusual about this cancer is that many of them are the so-called triple negative cancers that we typically think of as being more aggressive, but in this case, that's not what seems to transpire. As a patient becomes older, in other words, mid-20s, 20s, mid-20s, 20s, mid 20s, older up into 30s, et cetera, then my review of the literature would suggest that the treatment becomes more like the typical treatments we do for other forms of breast cancer. Namely, if you're having a lumpectomy, then you need adjuvant radiation therapy. If the lymph nodes are involved, which is not very typical with this cancer, then you may indeed need chemotherapy. But again, there's no consensus about the type of chemotherapy. So this is a very, very, very rare type of breast cancer. This really supports one of the themes that I've had on Breast Cancer Answers, which is that patients need to be treated by a multidisciplinary team. Also, another theme that I have with Breast Cancer Answers is that there's often no perfect treatment and that we're always having benefits and risks no matter what we uh, end up looking at if those options are available to us. So in general, with secretory breast cancers, the older the patients become, the more their treatment should be like the standard treatments that we offer now. The role of radiation therapy is unclear. Uh, the role of specific chemotherapies is unclear. As I said earlier, there's no consensus as to the treatment of this rare form of breast cancer. But the bottom line is, please be involved with a multidisciplinary team Please weigh and look at all the options and then make your own appropriate decisions.
Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.